Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 4C in the How to Build series. And we're going to be going over how to build a health bar HUD with EGP. So let's get rid of all this nonsense right here, and we'll take what we need. So let's start with a wire link for the expression 2 chip, and we'll paste that right there. And let's go to EGP version 3, go to screen type, and select HUD. And we'll paste that right there, and wire the chip to the HUD. So to activate the HUD, you press E on it, and it'll say HUD connected. Otherwise, if you press E again, it'll say HUD disconnected, and it will disable the HUD. So we're going to keep it connected so we have the HUD enabled during Expression 2 updates. So let's start with something basic here. We'll do an EGP box. We'll have it as object number 1, and we're going to set the initial position as VEC2, which cover tutorial 4A in Expression 2 series. And then we need to set the size here. But... Let's say that we want this box to cover the entirety of the screen. Well, we need the owner's screen resolution. So to do that, we're going to get the width, and we'll say EGP screen width, and the entity we want to get it from, which is the owner. And this is going to get the height part of the resolution. And we'll do that as well, owner. And also while we're at it, we'll get the owner's HP, like such. So then, because these values update, we want to make sure that this chip updates with these values to update the HUD. So we're going to set interval command at rate of 100. And here we're going to put the width and the height. So if I upload this, now there's a giant white box whose center is at the top left hand corner of the screen and whose bottom right hand corner is at the center of our screen right here or on the expression 2 chip. So that's why it's taking up a quarter of the screen, because it's actually the same size as the screen. So to fix this, let us then put width divided by 2, and we'll put height divided by 2 right here. And that'll center it, but I can't see a thing. So that's no good. Let's fix that. So we'll put EGP. I'm going to set the material, which is a new command for you, of the first object. And let's go steal somebody's um, material. Um, sorry, Xanaboy. I mean, you did a lot of good in our community, and you're doing more good by helping us learn how to do EGP. So, shout out to Xanaboy. Alright, so let's then add this materi material right here. There's a bunch of other materials you can find. I'm sure there's a nice material list somewhere on Google. So, if we do this, Let's update it, and now we have a nice little line thing. But we want to change the line to make it go horizontal from left to right. So to do that, we're going to need to change the angle. So we change the angle, not the angle, the angle of the first object by 90 degrees. Now tilt it to where the line is horizontal. However, if we change it for 90 degrees, every time we change this 90 degrees, we need to swap all the H's for W's, in a sense, on both sides of this equation so because they're the horizontal and the vertical have been swapped so the height and the width must be swapped as well so as you can see the line goes across the screen if we go into darkness we can see it better all right so then let us set it to where it's actually positioned at the bottom of the screen so to do that let's say we have a height when, when we add to the height, when we add a positive value to the height, it's going to make the center of the box go lower. So we'll do that like that. And then we'll say that we want the height here to be times 5% of the actual width of the screen, or the height of the screen in this case. And we want this to be a multiple of the current HP divided by 100 and that's going to actually make it to where when the HP drops the length of the bar or the box changes in this case all right so it should be in a nice position which it is right now all right so now let's look at the color and make a color change so we'll put EGP color object one and we're going to do vector right here and by the way if you're unfamiliar with strings and how they work uh, they are covered and tutorial 7a of the expression 2 series so let's set an initial color remember colors are 
red, green, blue. So we have a red, green, and blue value. The blue is going to be zero in this case. So the initial condition for the red value is going to be zero. The maximum value is going to be 255. And this formula right here, which I'm multiplying it by, is going to ensure that when the health of the owner drops to zero, it's going to increase the red uh, value proportionally um, by taking a percentage. So at the beginning of this, it's going to start at zero, and then it's going to increase to maximum 255. That's the basic explanation. Now here, we're taking the opposite case. We're starting at 255, which is going to be the initial condition. And we're going to multiply by HP divided by 100. Now, the reason I'm using 100 in both of these cases right here is because 100 is the maximum health of the player. So just add another parenthesis here, and that should be everything for the color. But lastly, before we're done, I want to also add text to this. So let's add some text. And I will say object number two. Now we're going to add a string and concatenate that string to HP so that this number gets counted as a string along with this part of the string. Concatenation is also in tutorial 7a, expression 2 series. And then we'll say vec2, and this is going to be the position of the string. And let's take actually this position right here and slightly modify it. So we will say, instead of here, we're going to say negative 9 units. So it's going to move it to the left a little bit, this text to the left. And also, we're going to move it a little bit upward as well. So we'll actually just put it to 340 and see how that goes. All right, so let's upload. All right, it looks like we have to go a little bit higher. So we'll put like 32 or something like that. And that works just fine. All right, so as I take damage then, as you can see, the health bar is now changing. The colors are changing, proportional to the health. And also, the uh, numbers are changing just fine. So, that's going to cover HUDs right now. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave some in the comments below. Until then, I will see you next time.